three-time gold medalist Scotty Kramer and Chris Doyle is down in the mix somewhere. I'll tell you what, Scotty, we are preparing ourselves for a great battle here this evening right after that great step up. Congrats to Corey Creed. This may be the most highly anticipated event at X Games this year because this is the biggest tricks from the craziest riders, hands down. I'm so excited to watch this one. Yeah, there's the, there's the camaraderie, there's the brotherhood, and there is last night's winner of the pipe, Mr. Vince Byron. We're gonna see some great stuff out here. And we're gonna have ourselves a little information now about what went down earlier this year by this guy. We're talking a lot about him tonight, Ryan Williams, a gold in Sydney and a gold in Shanghai. He's going for three of them in a row now. Gold medals, that is. And he got it with tricks like this, the massive front flip flare on that quarter pipe. It was so hard for him to get last year in Minneapolis, but he was able to get redemption. And then he came back in Shanghai and repeated the same, but this time went even higher. Got a ton of respect from all the BMX riders around the world, and he has back-to-back -back gold medals. But this guy right here, the BMX legend, Morgan Wade, he has been doing it since 2003 as a professional, and he is still at the top of the game, and he will try to do whatever it takes to get back on the top of the podium. He is the eldest and most experienced. Ryan Williams is the youngest with two golds looking for three up on the left-hand side. We got some rumors floating around. What is this flip drop in that Ryan Williams is talking about? That's the talk of the weekend. Ryan Williams is possibly going to be trying a flip drop in on the rolling part. So that means he's gonna be on that 60 foot drop right there. But he's also got Morgan Wade, the one who brought the drop in tricks into the competition. He is going to be doing some crazy stuff. I saw him actually put a metal bar in the way of the drop in and jump over it. So I'm so excited about this. So, like this is gonna be epic, Uncle Lee. Like kind of inspired by the step up last night, right? Jumping up and over on the drop in. Okay, we have eight athletes, the best in the business. Each one of them has a medal of some sort, 30 medals total with these eight. A 25 minute jam session, best run counts. It's a new format, this jam session. We'll go and keep talking about it. And it's overall impression, Scotty. What does that mean? So overall impression, that is gonna be a key term because these guys are now tricking into the drop in. So that is going to potentially help their run for the overall impression in the judges' eyes. And our start list, eight of them, as we've mentioned. Curtis Downs starts it off. James Foster, both of them represent the USA, respectively. Foster is our defending champion. I talked to him in training about two hours ago. He is focused, he is dialed. He said, I'm healthy, I'm ready to send it. So let's see what happens out here. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the real cost. BMX Big Air, 25 minutes on the ticker. Take a deep breath, and here we go. Starting things off from Firth, Idaho, a bronze in the big air in 2017. His name, Curtis Downs, and we are underway. Let the clock begin. Whoa, massive flip, candy bar, straight into a one-footed invert. Curtis is getting his feet wet. He missed last year because he had an injury in practice. So for him just to get back on the ramp this time, this is what he needs to get his confidence back up. Yeah, took a concussion, took a hit right there. Chris Doyle is down below. How's the vantage point from there, sir? Well, I gotta admit, it's a little bit scary down here. I am in the middle, right between where the landing is and the big quarter, so you can really see the speed that these guys are generating when they jump this jump and then go directly up the huge quarter right there. Big Air is one of these events that just makes you feel so many different emotions, excitement, happiness, fear. This is gonna be a good one to watch. We got Zach Warden dropping in right now. Out of St. Louis, oh. Missouri, whoa! Jumping up and over and uh, released the bike for safety reasons. He's okay. So here's where things went wrong. He went for the backflip, bike flip, but you see he got his hand on his seat, but he could not bring the bike back underneath of him. He was trying to get a good hold, pull it underneath so the wheels can ride away. That's a tough break for his first run. Yeah, again, jam format. You're not going to be seeing any scores pop up. They're going to get as many runs in as possible in 25 minutes. And it's correction, scores in 65 6 6 for downs. And up and down. This is Colton Satterfield in his first attempt of two goals in 2014 15, holding on. Colton Satterfield riding away on that run right there, straight to the real cost block. But what was really cool about that run, he definitely. Up the ante on this drop right here. Now look at the, here's the triple tail whip. It's at 12 foot four inches. 
he can definitely go higher, but this is run number one. It's just great for Colton to be able to get this one in his bag. He's got confidence going into run number two, Uncle Lee. We'll talk about the landings on that quarter pipe throughout the night. The lower you land, the more impact it is. Lots of nuances in this sport. So Satterfield into first place, 78.33. Invert, just last night, took a bronze medal. This young buck, always just full of positivity, bleeds good energy. Michael Laren out of Racine, Wisconsin, throwing a 360 out of the top. Our first rider to use that drop in and do the 360. Michael with a double downside tail whip and rides away. That was one less tail whip than he did invert last night to get that bronze medal. And I got a feeling we could be seeing three. Oh, look at this view right there. There's the 360 in. Wow. What, a, what a shot. Upside down, sticks it and Scotty into the quarter pipe here. Look at the height on this one. Just imagine being in that position, knowing you got that bike spinning around and you were in the air, 30 something feet, and you got to land this thing to ride away. All right, getting a feel for it again. Clock ticking, 25 minutes to start. Three minutes underway, Matt Hoffman, the legend, giving some love to Michael. And we're looking up top now to a gentleman who's been doing this for 16 years at the X Games. You mentioned earlier, 2003 was the start. He was 20 when he started. He's the most experienced. He's the only father in the field, too. And we're going to, uh, one of the only fathers in the field, and he's going to send it right now as he drops in. The oh, 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 the first drop. 360, no handed flip. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, double tail with one hand. And a man who's. The man who's known for taking big hits, and he is up and okay. Look at this off the top, Scotty. Uncle E, I can't describe to you how crazy of a start to the run. That is 60 feet in the air right there, kicking the bike around twice. That is one of the craziest things I've ever seen in BMX. And he did it so well, it was perfect. And boy, he took a hit on that quarter pipe, just exploded on the bottom. He's okay, and we've seen him take some serious hits. Chris Doyle, was that impressive down there or what? That was terrifying. If anyone can take a slam, it's Morgan Wade. Vince Byron starting things off looking for a, a gold medal here. He won one last night in the pipe and he has put his first run down. Looking to add to his collection of hardware, the Aussie. That was a solid first run right there. He went really high on the quarter pipe with that flare, but he's got some bigger tricks. We know in Shanghai, he did the 540 flare, but let's check out this gap trick. Here is the cash roll. This is a 360 front flip variation. It's off access. It's almost like a corked out forward rotating 720 in a way. But he lands this one absolutely perfect. And I think these guys are gonna play strategy in tonight in this jam format. They're estimating they're gonna get about four runs or so. But look at the height on that flare, Uncle Lee. Yeah, the amplitude, the diversity of trick, and obviously the landing, so key to ride that out. You can do the crazy tricks, but as in any sport, the landing is instrumental. So Byron, he'll head back up top. We got an elevator that takes him back up top. Turnaround time is a little under two minutes. Here goes a gentleman going for a three-peat. Ryan Williams, check it out. Oh, the 720 front flip. Straight to the front flip flare, but does not get it. Lands a little bit low right there. Right, so out of the get-go, throwing it over the shoulder, head rotating around, Look, count the rotations. So this is a 720 front flip right there. So it's technically a 1080 full rotation, but he goes in the forward axis, so that creates the 720 front flip. That was absolutely perfect. You see he checks the back wheel with his foot in there to slow himself down for the flare, but he pulled out a little too much and landed a little low. Yeah, has no brakes. We'll keep hitting on that in a minute. Satterfield currently in the lead. This is our last competitor in run. Heat number one. Here goes James Foster, defending gold medalist. Oh, flip, triple whip off of the first hit. Straight into, oh, he, oh. he got his feet off at the end right there, but he did survive that one. So the judges, they are going to be staring at that run. When your feet touch, that does not count as a full land right there. But let's look at this gap. This is a huge trick. Rotating the bike around three full times. There's the second one, and sneaking it around for the third. He catches a bike so clean. It was looking so promising going into this quarter pipe. 
This is where things went wrong. There's one tail whip. There's a second. Roaching it around all the way to the fourth. Everything was looking right. The bike was a little far away. His feet not fully committed. And you can see both feet touch down, and the judges are definitely going to take that into consideration. So Foster first to do the quad tail whip, executes it pretty darn good there. Touch back on the landing, 80.0. I'm thinking, Scott, if he cleans that one up, that's going to be even more. All right, real cost, BMX, big air. We go back to the top of the order, earned a bronze in 2017. This is Curtis Downs, seeing if he can't put another one to his feet. Like I said earlier, Curtis Downs, he missed last year. Going for the triple downside solo, but he landed so low. Good to see him right back up to his feet. And I'm going to use the term landing low a couple times tonight. That means the riders pulled out too far away from the coping, and they're not catching enough transition to land smoothly. Zach Warden, five medals total. A couple of double golds back in 2013. Underway right now. Oh, same issue as before. Oh, that was the same exact crash. Yeah. Same exact situation. And Zach, he ended up landing one in Shanghai, which was great to see because he's the one that invented that trick, actually. So for Zach to be able to stop this one tonight, I think that's going to be a really big deal for him. Doyle, what are you seeing down that direction? Same thing previous on the previous jump. Well, yeah, you know, I just had to run to get out of the way of Zach Warden's bike that was bouncing at me. But, you know, a lot of excitement down here. And in, in Curtis Downs' crash, if you're going to crash on the mega ramp, that's the way you want to do it. You see the way he slid out of it. We got Colton Satterfield just, you know, taking it easy, maybe sitting back on that first run. He had a really good first run. And he's just going to get himself back up to the top, take a breath, and he'll be back for more. Yeah, just take it. Well said. That is Chris Doyle down below, multi-time X Games gold medalist, BMX legend. And we are looking at Michael Laren. He does a lot of high school shows with ASA Entertainment for anti-bullying, very positive. He 360s in, and let's see what he has as he's currently in fourth place. Now here's where it all happens on the quarter pipe. There's the triple downside tail, the same oh. thing he did last night. And what's crazy about that, he actually landed the triple downside tail whip on the big air ramp before he landed on the vert ramp. He said that that ramp gives him enough time to rotate the bike confidently. So check out the 360 drop. And once again, he, they are starting 60 feet up on top of that ramp. Off of the ground, that's almost 80 feet. So spinning blindly into that, landing, carving over to get to the outside ramp, the one that he uses to get all the speed. The backflip tail whip, you can see the pedals moved actually, but since it's such a big ramp, he was able to grab his feet on the bike and situate them so he can land and get to the triple downside tail whip. That blue line right there denotes for the riders when they're coming into the steeper part of the landing or the sweet spot. So from a takeoff of the jump to the sweet spot is approximately 63 feet. That's where you want to be to keep the momentum going into the quarter pipe. Michael Laren scored, will not do any better than fourth right now. We're going up top to Papa. Morgan Wade took a silver last year. And he's focusing, keeping his game face on right now. Dude, his first X Games back in 2003 in LA, just a just a warrior of the sport. I was there. <laughs> yes, you were. I was there. <laughs> Feels like an eternity ago, but here comes Morgan. The double oh, tail up once again. He lands it. 360 no-handed back for beautiful. It comes down to this ugly. Oh, 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 oh. oh yes! My, yes! Oh my yes! god! Morgan Way just stopped the run. That has been evading him since last year. What he just did, Uncle Lee, completely is blowing every BMX rider's mind at 20 foot 6 inches. Look, at I'm, I'm a little speechless right here because he's been working so hard on that. Risk reward up top, double spin, and then Scotty down below here. Hits the first part, executes it. Look at that. Uncle Lee, like, I'm in shock right now sitting here in this booth with you because what we just saw was a BMX legend step up and take control of a situation. Everything he just pushed the envelope on, the double tail drop in, that 360 no-handed flip, but that quarter pipe trick. Score in 91.66. Morgan Wade loves it, Matt Hoffman loves it in the crowd. Along with Scotty Graver and myself. Oh, boy, howdy. Just propelled himself up to the top. Okay, and look at this, Vince Byron answering right now, stepping it up. The Aussie putting it down. 
It's got that 540 flare, the same thing he landed in Shanghai, a very similar run to what he did. You can feel the energy level in this building yeah. right now. The riders are feeding off of it, and we're going to see some serious stuff in the next couple of runs, Uncle Lee. Yeah, Vince Byron, we're in that bright orange. It's, it's a clothing line. What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. <laughs> so this gear he's wearing, high viz gear, it's, a, it's, a, it's an ode to all the construction workers out there. And check out these rotations, spotting that landing, and he sticks it just like Morgan did. So, so when he's on fur, he does more of a 540 flare, but that time it was very, very 900, meaning he didn't spin directly upside down. His score in 84.66. Ryan Williams ready to get it going. Down below, vantage point in a minute. What do you got, Scotty? So Ryan Williams was talking to me earlier. He says he's got plans to do a big drop in trick. And you're hearing it right okay. now. What is it? This is going to be groundbreaking. We, we are going to see the first flip it? drop what is ever it? attempt. Oh, backflip, and he lands this one! Straight to the nothing oh. front bike flip, Uncle Lee, this is serious! Here's the quarter pipe, Ryan Williams going for a little bit of history! And he lands the front flip flare as well, are you kidding me? been talking about through the years if you've watched the X Games there's progression of sport there's first that has never happened before he talked about it there was rumors check us out this is the first backflip drop and we've seen on the mega ramp but this is also the first backflip drop in that Ryan Williams has ever tried in his life what a time to bust it out huh unbelievable I love that he did it for Dave Muir out in the drop in showing some respect to the greatest of all time it, what it, a run. And it didn't even shake him up whatsoever. He stuck to his game plan. It's a very familiar trick for him. And then on the quarter, walk us through this one, Scotty. The front flip flare, you can see flipping forward, twisting, spotting his landing. And he landed with such great transition compared to the first one, rides away. Going for the three, Pete. <laughs> 93.66, the power of Mira. The spirit of Mira lighting him up, as well as this crowd. You see that R. Willie license plate right there? With his winnings from uh, last year, he bought 40 acres, and he's building a fun park like uh, Travis Pastrana is. It's called R. Willie uh, Ranch out there. He's so, already got some airbags set up. It's amazing, Uncle Lee. Okay, James Foster has his work cut out for him right now. Just gets it underway. Oh, not quite enough air, and he's down. He's up, he's okay, that's the important thing. Defending gold medalist James Foster, but Ryan Williams setting history here. There he is in the air, doing his own Superman version. Lots more to see, hear, and do at The Real Cost BMX Big Air. Back to the top of the order. Oh, I'm starting to sweat a little bit up here. My palms got sweaty after that. This is Curtis Downs back to the top of the order. Does a whole bunch of fun stuff with Nitro Circus since 2013. Has had some issues. Actually, has had a couple good landings here. He's going to see if he can up the ante onto this quarter pipe here. Oh, the triple downside tail whip. And this time he lands it. He landed a little low on the last one. He couldn't pull away. But it was so great to see Curtis Downs back. He actually got a medal on his rookie year here at X Games. He missed last year because of an injury, and he's making his name back into the sport. Yeah, he's riding a custom frame due to his size also, so it's lighter, easier for him to move, maneuver around. Some of the technical side of things out here. All right, so again, see the clock ticking up there, 9.45. We started with 25. It's looking like we're around the five, maybe six run mark for each athlete. Williams just setting a little history out here at the U.S. Bank Stadium for X Games Minneapolis 2019. If you're just joining us, you're watching Real Cost BMX Big Air. It's Ryan from Zach Warden, who's had some issues on his previous two jumps. Let's see if he's learned about it. Oh, 
Oh, so close that time. At least he got the bike back underneath him, except for bailing that time. So he's got to feel better. He's making progress, and he still has more runs to go. Yeah, hey, Doyle, what's the energy like down there, especially after Williams just stuck that? I am still trying to pick my jaw up off the ground. It is absolute pandemonium. We have a couple thousand judges here at US Bank Stadium that all agree that Ryan Williams should be in that top spot with that 93.66. Those three runs between Ryan Williams, Morgan Wade, and then Vince Byron just really set the stage and they lit this place up and blew the roof off this building. It is really exciting to be down here, be amongst the fans, and just really feed off of all this energy that these guys are providing. Yeah, good. We're looking down there. It looks exciting from our vantage point. Thank you, Mr. Doyle. So that was Colton Satterfield. Didn't get what he wanted. Now we're ready for Michael Laren, the racing in Wisconsin boy, easily 360-ing in. Michael looks like he's bringing some speed to the quarter by Bunkley. Huge look back, going for air. These guys, they love riding this ramp. Any chance that they get to go up there and they get to enjoy themselves, they're going to take full advantage of it. Michael Laren getting into the 20 range. Huge look back. Yeah, you know, at four years of age, he said to his mom, I'm going to be a BMX pro. And just, like, he, he focused on it, willed it, had the help of, of uh, Kuko Padilla and family, and boom, his dream is true, and he is here now. With the bronze last night in Vert, how great was that? It's amazing to see. Man, watching Michael. So they going just for got a, stopped in my tracks right here. Wait a minute. Are we going for a are we going for a ladder jump? A first so this is this is Morgan Wade along with the help of of uh, Vince Byron putting a ladder across the way. All right. What? We <laughs> talked about raising the bar yeah, right? in the set in the beginning of the show. Morgan Wade just put a ladder in front of the Check 60 foot drop on the rolling. This is what it's about. It, it, Look at the <laughs> smile on his face right now. Guy, Ryan Williams is looking for a third consecutive Big Air gold medal. Now let's check in with the X Games athlete, Mr. Ryan Williams, cruising the city aboard his Harley Davidson. What's up, everyone? We're here in Minneapolis, and we are going to test out some of Harley Davidson's new concept electric bikes. I'm so stoked to be the second person ever to be riding one of these future gen Harleys. First, we're gonna go rip around Minneapolis and then we're gonna head to the skate park where Harley Davidson has another surprise waiting. Let's head out. too fun. I told you I had a surprise and here it is. It's Robbie and his new Harley Davidson electric kids bike, the Iron E. Shall we show him what it can do? Yeah, yeah let's go. Alrighty Robbie, I got my bike together. You got yours together. Are you ready to shred? Yeah. Let's do it. thing is awesome. Make sure you keep your eyes out for all the Harley Davidson electric bikes coming soon. But let's go ride some more, eh? Yeah! Get more X Games at h-d.com slash X Games. There he is, having a good time on the electric Harley Davidson. I remember when those came out. I've yet to be on one, but I would sure like to, huh? It'd be so cool to see you cruising around, but we yeah. have some serious stuff happening on top of this big air ramp. Yeah, Morgan so Wade we'll is about to send a drop in <laughs> over a ladder on the top of a 60 foot drop in. Here it comes! Over the ladder! Oh, oh yeah, the drop off! 
Oh my god, can you imagine trying to do that on the biggest stage here in BMX? Unbelievable. And, and he had the grin, he has a grin now. He was up top with Vince Byron, they brought the ladder out and just totally jerry-rigged it. Check it out. Look at this hop up, but he landed leaning a little bit too far back. He knew it straight away. He's like, I gotta get off of this thing because there's a 60-foot drop in I'm about to go crazy on. He did the perfect way to fall though. He slid right down just like a big old slide. Walk down from here. <laughs> At, th at 36 years of age, a kid, he's still just a kid at heart, loving it out here. All right, Vince Byron, he's had a, a couple of, uh, a lot of medals, he's had a gold medal before, he's in the bronze medal position right now, he's got to pull out all the stops, the Aussie. And there's a 720 front flip over the gap, but he over-rotated. That's the same trick that Ryan Williams actually did in his first run, but Vince's rotation just got a little bit off and over-rotated, and he had to uh, slide down, but he got out of it a good way. Yeah, former competitive gymnast, so his his uh, awareness, keen sense of aerial artistry is a little bit better than most. Let me tell you a sad about Vince Byron. He's actually tied with Jared McNeil for the most medals by an Australian. If he gets a medal tonight, he will break that tie. Yep, and he got a vert gold three-peat right there. And Foster, well, excuse me, Ryan Williams first, our present leader. Insane, let's see what he has for an encore performance. And there he goes with the 720 front flip, just like Vince did. Right into the front flip flare and lands that one clean. Now, let's go back up to the front that he did before, the, fr the, the flip, back flip he did up top. Is, that is calculated because it's an overall impression. It does help with the score. Yes, it does. The judges say it will count for overall impression. But back to the gap right here, you can see him spinning forward, looking around, spotting his landing, and this is where he has to pull the rotation in, more like a front flip variation, and then a spin. He's got to pull the bike back underneath him. He did the front flip flare, and it's crazy to think that this trick took him out every single run last year, right in this building, and now, majority of every run, he's hitting this no problem. There he is, smiles galore. So we're Woo! James Foster, Defending gold medals, he's passing on his next run. Uh, apparently he is not. He has said, I'm gonna man up and get after it. I wanna defend the gold. James Foster after it right now. He's got the backflip triple tail whip. Bar spin to triple down side tail whip. We got the bail out on that one, Uncle E. That was a hard hit on the shoulder. You gotta remember, these yeah. BMX riders are the toughest guys out there. Chris Doyle, what was it looking like down there? Doyle's catching his breath, too. Back to the top of the order. Going through the mental artistry. Scott, you've done a lot of competition in your times. What goes through the mind at the start, regardless of what course it is? You know, there's a lot of pressure you put on yourself in these situations, but these riders, they know how to take that pressure and take those nerves and turn it into greatness. Curtis Downs, fourth run, currently in sixth place, clean off the jump into the quarter pipe. Oh, he don't, don't. wow, barely got that bike underneath of him. He actually took a page out of James Foster's book and went for the quadruple downside tail whip. Here it is, you can see the rotations, two, three, the fourth one was lagging so heavily. I don't know how he got back on that bike and rode away as far as he did, Uncle Lee. That was a really, really good save he did. That's years of experience. And we go back up top to Zach Warden, who's had some issues on his previous jumps. A couple of golds to his credit, a silver and two bronzes, so we know he's very capable. Can he get it underneath his feet? Oh, no. Again, he had to bail out. That's got to be so frustrating to be going against that trick three out of four times, not even getting the bike back underneath you. Yeah, Doyle, you've done a, a fair amount of competition in your time. When something like that happens, it's tough to get it back together, true? All right, we'll get back to Chris Doyle in just a minute. Right now, he's set our sights to Colton Satterfield. Again, 2.45 left on the clock. We're in the fourth run. Back foot bar spin to double tail with... Ah. Oh, yeah. I was watching his last run, a very, very similar situation. And that's such a technical trick right there to combine four tricks in one, a backflip, a bar spin, and two tailors. Yeah, there's so much going on with that. Satterfield fractured his left clavicle on a double flare last year. Listening to Michael Laren, talking to the legend of Mr. Morgan. 
And here's the onboard view right here. I was up there earlier today taking some photos, showing a friend around. And it's, uh, if you have, if you have a fair height, that's not where you want to be. Not at all. It's amazing to be up there. And once you're up there, you have such a respect for these guys riding. But it looks like Morgan Wade and Michael Laren are going simultaneous right now. For, what are you doing? Back to the Back duels? Flip, no hands yes. together over the ramp? That's what yeah. BMX is about right there, Uncle Lee. Two friends making the best of it, all for the crowd. Do they get double the score? That's a good <laughs> Do they get question. double the score? We're about to find out. <laughs> Let's see if they can split the medal. <laughs> Synchronized BMX Big Air here, real cost style. Look at this. It's awesome. Can you imagine teaming up with your friend, trusting him that much that you're going to go down the rolling on a 60 foot, then go over a 63 foot ramp doing a backflip? Yeah, it's <laughs> synchronized. Look, all right, War uh, Morgan's got a little more confidence, takes his hands off the bar. Michael spots the landing. They land just almost at the same I time. I would love Check to out. see a still frame, a perfect picture of these guys both holding that tabletop at height. Man, that was a cool That was a cool thing for the crowd right there. Morgan Wade on the left, Michael Laren on the, on the right. And doing a little vocal crowd TV business here that's great stuff all right so here's Vince Byron down to 46 seconds and Vince Byron five silvers and a bronze yet to get a goal let's see what he has oh same as last time Uncle Lee he keeps on over rotating and sliding down on his right side so when I say over rotate that means he spun the trick too much like we said earlier it's a 720 front flip but he over rotated to 720 Okay, as we're winding this thing down, two riders remain in this run number four. This is Brian Williams. If you're just joining us, we've set a little history with this young man. He did a backflip out of the of the roll-in, the drop-in. And he's talking to Dave Mira, the legend up top, thanking him for all that Dave has paid for all these riders in BMX. And here he goes, our current leader. Ryan Williams. There's that 720 front flip again, Uncle Lee. Straight into the front flip flare tabletop oh, on the invert. He told me he was going to do that one. That was a world's first right there. I don't think he's even done that one on a real ramp. And he just did it on the big air ramp for the crowd right there. How did he get that around? It looked like he was going to fall flat on his face. That is a cool wow. trick. And every core BMX rider is stepping up and commending Ryan Williams on throwing that one on that big air quarter pipe. Love to see a replay of that. Can you hear us down there, Chris Doyle? How'd that look from your perspective? We're, we're not getting Chris down there, but getting love from Mr. Morgan and his son Cotter in hand. Let's go, Foster! There, there's the spirit of this sport. These are all brethren. They've been tried, tested, and true warriors. James Foster took a gold last year. He'll be the final competitor to send it on down. What's it going to take here? It's going to take him landing this backflip triple tail whip. Okay. And he's also going to have to get redemption on that quarter pipe. I don't know what trick he's going to take. He's got two in his bag that can get him on the podium. Now. Ryan Williams has the lead with the 93.66. James Foster sends it. So far, so good into the quarter pipe. Oh, 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 oh. oh James. But that is a hard hit. We pull back X Games staff, medical, attending to James Foster out of Redlands, California. Final jump of the real cost BMX Big Air. Hoping for all the best. Oh my gosh! Hope he's all right. Ryan Williams. And we're looking at the official results coming in shortly while we attend to James Foster and we are looking for official results to come in, and there you have it. Ryan Williams takes his third gold medal in a row with Morgan Wade with another silver, Vince Byron with yet another bronze. And Chris Doyle is down there in the mix. We'll see if we can't get in there shortly. We'll update you shortly with a James Foster in just a minute's time. So 
congratulations to Ryan Williams. And we will be back in just a minute with the culmination of the real cost BMX Big Air. Stick with us. We need to pull it. I've got two. I've got two feet. It's all good. Willie, this is a three-peat. The three-peat is complete. A gold medal in Shanghai, a gold medal in Sydney, and now the gold medal in X Games here in Minneapolis. Tell me what's on your mind. Uh, I just can't believe it. A little bit bittersweet. Hope Foster's all right. I hope nothing's hurt. Hope he heals up quick. But uh, that one was for the miracle boy, Dave Mira. I watched him do a backflip drop in the other day, and I was inspired to do it. And uh, shout out to Michael and Morgan Wade for inspiring me as well. But that one was for Dave Mira. Love you, mate. Thanks for inspiring everybody. Congratulations, sir. Welcome back, everybody. A beautiful night shining over that U.S. Bank Stadium. Happy Friday night. We just witnessed one of the most progressive BMX Big Airs I have ever seen. How's it going? Jack Matrani here. Honestly, I am still in shock from what I just witnessed. 